etymology. Let's talk about that while we're all here. Etymology. That is a study of words. Uh, you know that. Entomology. That is a study of bugs. Yeah, and uh, I don't know what you call it when you study words that bug you, but that's what I do. <laughs> Pretty much throughout the day. And I don't know, man, I don't know if this is true of other languages, but the English language, man, we've got a lot of jacked up stupid words. They gotta go, they gotta go. Unbeknownst, you're gone. <laughs> Unbeknownst, nothing is ever beknownst. <laughs> That's what bugs me about it. You hear people say it all the time. I was unbeknownst to me. I had no idea, but nobody ever calls money. I'm like, geez, dude. At what point did you know it? <laughs> you had to be We even knew something was going on. How could you not know? <laughs> Extraordinary. Out. Extraordinary. More ordinary. Who, who wants that? <laughs> you are extraordinary. Can I tell you that, man? You are... Ordinary plus. <laughs> Extravaganza. So long. More vaganza. What am I supposed to do with all this vaganza I got laying about? <laughs> now I've got extravaganza. <laughs> Deterred. say it ever again. I read that the other day. He was going to go downtown, but he was deterred. I was like, you got to be kidding me. Oh, my gosh. I have to go downtown. I wonder what that deterring process is all about. It sounds awful. Sometimes, sometimes it's a single word like that that bugs me, and then sometimes it's a whole string of words. I don't even understand how they ever came together, to tell you the truth. Dead in the water. <laughs> Why is that different from just dead? <laughs> Did you hear what happened to Joe? He died. <clears throat> oh, gosh, no. Was he wet? <laughs> ah, it'd be horrible if he was wet. It goes without saying, and not to mention, should just be followed by silence. <laughs> but they're not. Every time somebody says not to mention, they just go right on mentioning something. <laughs> It was the least I could do. Why would you say that ever? It was the least. That's what you chose to do. The least. Every time somebody says that to me, all I hear is, well, I really wanted to do nothing, but I couldn't get away with it. So I pushed myself, and I did the minimally acceptable amount. There's dozens of them. It goes on and on and on and on, by all means. You ever been hit with that one? Ugh, it's a favorite of a friend of mine. He comes over the other day and I said, can I get you some water? And he said, sure, by all means. I was like, oh, God, wait a minute. You want me to get you water by all means? You want it from a hose? Huh? You want it from a squirt gun? You want me to hand scoop it out of the aquarium? How do you want this water? Let me know when you've had enough. Many, many meanings to go. I just think we talk before we're actually thinking about what we're saying. I think that's what happened. I was walking around today and I heard a guy go, I have my watch on, feel kind of naked. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, if I came up here kind of naked but had my watch on, yeah, we'd all feel it. Oh, you're telling me I'm nude. I had no idea because I'm wearing my watch and it feels like I'm completely clothed. Blabbity, blabbity, blabbity. That's why I envy the chicken. Yeah, the chicken. Are you kidding me? One noise, your whole life. Worldwide, just back, 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 And the other chickens know what he's saying. That's what gets me like, carry on a chicken conversation. I got to thinking about chicken stand-up comedy. Some bird come up here for a whole room full of birds. Just back, 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 And the whole chicken crowd. Back, back, That's the sort of stuff you think about when you work an hour a day. Free time on my hands. 